Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, the compact. Uh, let's see, a bunch of stuff written on the, on the front of it, but it's a compact Presario uh, SR2170NX. Boy, that's a lot of characters on that. Uh, it's a, a friend of mine uh, bought a new computer, said that her uh, uh, Windows XP machine has expired, is no longer supported, so uh, we can't do anything with that and um, as she ended up giving this to me after she got her Windows uh, new, new uh, Windows 8 machine but something I uh, that gets me though this is Windows Vista basic and the key is ripped up for Windows uh, Vista so I don't know if she really had Windows XP on here uh, really cool like life drive drive is on there uh, it's got um, a meg of RAM. I mean, there's a the processor, Pentium 4. Okay, so a 160 gig hard drive, uh, and everything is inside of there. Uh, so I, I think Windows 7 could be put on this, which is uh, really cool. I'm going to show you how to get inside and clean this thing up, and uh, uh, we're going to see if we can salvage this. All right, there's a lever inside here. It's a black lever. You need to pop that, pop it out. I have this hanging off. Uh, off the edge here. I'm going to scoot it back so it doesn't fall. You're going to push this uh, lever in up here and you need to, need to move it off. Now the other side, this pushes the lever all the way across to the other side. It's hanging up. So I need to use two hands to get that off. But you definitely need to push this one in. There is one on the other side over there. You need to push that one out. And right now I do need two hands for that. Once I got two hands on it, it came off just fine. Wiggle it around. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's why you need to take the front cover off. It's looking really bad. So we're going to want to shake this outside first before I take the uh, air compressor to it. But take a look at it. This is what I find in, in customers' computers when I used to go to their house. Now I'm in a wheelchair most of the time. I can't do that. They bring the computer to me. Which loses me business, but oh well. Um, but those are the USB ports, and that's why you need to get this off so you can clean those out real good. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, the spray guns that you get at, uh, the cans that you get at uh, the store doesn't really do the job. As for basic cleaning, like keyboards, you really need uh, an air compressor to do this. So see if a friend has one. Uh, you can go to the garage of an automotive shop and use theirs. A bicycle uh, air pump or whatever at a... At a gas station, it took three too. charges of the uh, compressor to get this thing clean. Look how clean that is on the inside now. All right, the front is all clean, including the USB. The fan over here is all clean. This is the kind of stuff that comes included with um, the fifty to hundred dollars I charge to fix computers. I never go over a hundred dollars on my labor. So. Um, you can see just how clean this is. Now there's no evidence whatsoever of pop capacitors, like the Jiffy Pop popcorn, all right, which is a good sign. There is two SATA plugs down there, and a mix of SATA and ATA uh, plugs on here. The uh, CD, DVD drive is uh, ATA, the hard drive SATA. So you could put uh, a um, SATA CD-ROM drive because there is another plug for SATA. All right, or you could put another hard drive in here uh, and make it SATA too if you wish. All right, so now is the time to find out if this will take Windows 7. Well, it turned out uh, that it won't boot up. No Roger beep or anything like that. No, um, no indication on the monitor. Um, nothing like that. No light on the mouse. So there's uh, something serious wrong. Processor or motherboard. So. Basically, it's just good for parts. Got a one gig uh, memory chip out of it. I'll have to test this in another another computer. Same thing with the 160 gig uh, SATA hard drive. Uh, the CD burner, um, light scribe, uh, really isn't worth anything. Uh, nobody on eBay would buy it or anything like that. I don't trust the power supply because whatever caused the motherboard to go bad might be caused by the power supply. I did try. Uh, I removed the modem. Sometimes that causes not to boot up. Uh, I did disconnect everything, and uh, the only thing I didn't do is pull out the processor and reseat it. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, just a lot of good parts uh, that I can probably get out of here. So hopefully you liked the video. Uh, at least I showed you how to clean your computer. All right, and uh, subscribe if you wish. Bye.